Hey y'all, happy uh, Wednesday. It is Wednesday, March, I'm sorry, I'm still in March. It's Wednesday, April 5th, 2017, of course, if you guys are in the same year as me. <laughs> um, I just wanted to do a really quick video. Um, let's see. About nutrition and fitness programs um, so and I'm outside walking my dog right now she uh, she's over there somewhere anyways um so yeah I want to do a quick video about talking about nutrition and fitness programs so you guys know there's a whole lot of fitness programs out there a lot of information um, <coughs> sorry, and I'm fighting a cold, a cough, but, uh, <coughs> <coughs> nasty, um, yeah, so, uh, on social media, you see all these, uh, programs, and some might be pretty legit, but you have to think about, um, the stuff that people are posting, right? Um, not everything is exactly as it seems. Um, you see these people, they're in shape, like I'm in shape. I'm not in the shape that I want to be after battling my disease. I'm on my way back, but my standards are a lot different than the most, um, normal people out there, I guess. So, I have higher standards, and so I have different... different expectations of how I want to look and maintain my my body my physique my health my fitness so for me it's different I don't expect everybody to be the same as me um, so as far as some of these programs when you see out in social media and they make it seem like um, you just do this program and you're gonna look like that and usually that's not true this is a lifestyle. So some of these programs, they're good to implement into something that you're doing, maybe um, getting started, beginning, um, you know, starting new habits, fitness habits, getting active. Um, just like my programs I put out there, um, just know that they are maybe for someone who's beginning, just starting out. Maybe it's something you want to add to a current uh, program that you are doing right now. Maybe something to spice it up, learn some exercises, learn some combinations, learn some circuits. Um, I try and teach you as much as I can, but um, mind you, you know, some of my programs isn't, isn't just that that got me to where I am. I've been doing this for 25 years. I started when I was 21. Um, I learned right off the bat how to train properly um, in bodybuilding. So I didn't spend a lot of years just wandering around what to do, what to do, like a lot of people do when they're in the gym. Um, I see it a lot. So there is, um, there is something to hiring a personal trainer, an online coach, uh, to help you with your fitness goals get you booted in the right direction and be educated um, That's if you pick the proper Person to coach you and guide you um, So just because somebody uh, took a test and passed and got this piece of paper that says They are certified a certified trainer or whatever it is does not mean that they have the experience yet um, so there's a difference and I'm sure you see that a lot you go to these 24-hour fitness LA fitness You see these Yahoo trainers that don't know Jack and it's those trainers that come and ask me questions on how to Work with their client or what are they what to do with diet and hey, I got this person. What do I do with them? Those people come and ask me, you know um, and you know mind you I, I share some of my advice 
but um, some things that I share um, are just bits and pieces. Everything works as a collective, okay? Um, so I might tell you do A, B, and C, but that might not be the whole formula. You may need different elements into your fitness and nutrition program to help you get your results. Um, so everybody is different and everybody needs to be addressed differently. Yeah, there's some common basic characteristics to how our body functions, how food works, and you know, the general bottom line basics. And anybody who's coming from a crappy uh, lifestyle of not moving and eating crappy, almost any change in your diet will make a difference. <coughs> At first um, but that would only last for a certain period of time that's where the knowledge comes in on learning how to change up your program how to add variety add a little kind of a uh, trickery to get you out of um, a plateau or not getting the results that you need or want um, and that's where the coaching comes in now some of these programs like I said You'll see, you know, they, they promise you all these quick fixes. Um, I don't believe in crash diets. Um, I don't believe in quick fixes. Not like that. Um, it depends on the level of fitness that you are in. Um, that some things can apply to um, making certain changes. So if you are in contest condition then that is when you do certain little tweaks and you will notice big changes because you're at such an elite level of conditioning that that's when you can see these changes but the changes I may do to a contest prep person as opposed to somebody who still has 20 30 pounds to lose you're not going to notice the same difference so um, there's a time and place for everything and it's knowing when to apply certain things based on where you're at and where your nutrition is at, where your diet's at, where your health is at, um, all those things. So yeah, all these programs are, some of them I just say don't believe the hype <coughs> and my cough. Um, yeah, so don't believe the hype on all these things. Um, the nutrition aspect is most important. It's the key um, to maintaining a healthy lifestyle, a certain look in your physique. Um, so it's learning on what phases you need to take and in approaching your fitness goals. So like I said, if you really eat crappy, then, um, then I would start somebody out like that by just starting to learn how to replace some bad habits with good habits. Um, so we don't we don't mess ourselves up overnight. Um, you didn't wake up one morning 20, 30 pounds heavier, right? 20, 30, 40 percent body fat. You didn't wake up like that. It took some time uh, for that to happen and um, it takes some time to unravel the damage just is just the same so you have to trust the process the dog is pulling on me come on let's go so you need to trust the process and and be patient um, so like I said with all these uh, programs out there um, don't believe the hype um, they're not all out there for in your best interest. You have to approach them and understand where it is that you're at, where you're starting, and how can it benefit you and apply to you. Now, usually my fitness programs that I have, I do online coaching. Um, um, I with big emphasis on the diet. All right, so I'm, I really try to teach you about nutrition and um, food is fuel. Um, fuel. Food is meant to fuel your body, 
for the purpose of whatever it is that you're trying to um, attack as far as your goals or your lifestyle. So if you are looking to be some triathlon, you know, your nutrition is going to be different. If you need to lose 30, 40, 50 pounds, then your nutrition is going to be a little bit different based on your lifestyle, your work, your work environment, your daily activities. What kind of job do you have? Is it stressful? Do you have kids? Uh, do you sit at a desk all day? Um, or are you a UPS driver, a FedEx delivery guy, you know, so all those needs to be, um, all that needs to be taken into consideration when, with your, uh, your nutrition and fitness program because we all expend calories differently. Um, some people's metabolisms are faster than others. Um, some are more metabolic, right? So all that needs to be taken into consideration. So when you see all these little, you think you're getting some type of quick fix program, it's usually not the case. Um, it'll just help you. You just have to know how is it that you are plugging it into your life and how is it going to benefit you. Um, and like I said, my programs, um, some of them are supplement into a current fitness program, uh, like my booty program, there's definitely to attack the butt and get the butt nice and plump, but it comes with a nutrition program. So, it helps you eat. And the biggest value actually is getting the meal plan because meal plans can be expensive and um, make workouts you can find all over the internet. So um, really the value is the nutrition program. Um, not all food not is created equal, not all calories are created equal, not all carbs are equal, not all protein is equal. So um, there's a time and a place for everything. Uh, but if you guys want help with nutrition, training, and all that, that's what I do. I do online. I do remote coaching. Um, let's discuss your fitness goals and your program and customize it just for you because um, we are not all the same and all our lifestyles are not the same. And um, so let's address your issues individually. Um, hit me up. My information, it will be down below in the description. And uh, let me know how I can help you. Um, there's so many ways, so many ways. But I just wanted to let you guys know um, all that stuff out there. Don't believe the hype. And plus, a lot of them pictures are Photoshop. You guys know this. You guys know this. So, um, I don't Photoshop my pictures. What you see is, that's me. Um, maybe every now and then, maybe if I want to change it to a black and white or something like that, but I don't filter and Photoshop my pictures. That's just wrong. Um, if it's photo shoot, uh, photography type stuff, you know, sometimes maybe you play around with just, like I said, the filters and things like that, but I don't change the shape. I don't like to, um, you know, make a picture of far-fetched from what I am and how I look and how my body is so I can't I like to keep it real right let's stay 100 um, hit me up y'all if you guys need help because I'm here to help you um, and that's it I'm gonna go work out today um, go gym Venice so stay tuned keep following I'm gonna try try and try and try to do these videos it's not always easy I gotta really be in the mood so all right Hit me up. Peace. Boom.